Hi guys, today I want to show you how to get location data using an IP address. The API web service I'm going to be using today is from ipoinfo.io. So if you go to that website, scroll to the bottom, to the footer, you'll see a developer's link. Click that. Once on this page, you'll see several different ways you can interact with the API. Um, for my demo, I'm going to use the, the curl option. So let's flip back to NetBeans so we can start coding some of this stuff out. Now, normally we'll dynamically grab a user's IP address and assign it to a variable. But since I'm on a local machine, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna manually add one. So I got one of my notes. And we need the API URL, info.io. And we want to catenate our example IP address. All right, so as I mentioned before, I'm going to be using curl. And as I stated before in a previous video, basically to get curl up and running, you only need three functions. Um, the curl uh, initialize, uh, curl execute, and curl close. But we want to send the output to a variable, so I need to throw a curl uh, return transfer option. And actually include the variable we'll be sending the data to. Just call it data. All right, we should be able to print this out. Save it, run, boom. Um, so you, as you can see, the detail for this IP address includes uh, city, round rock, uh, region Texas, country code is uh, US. We have longitude and latitude data. Um, we have, have, even have post code data. Uh, it's currently in JSON. Um, what I want to do is um, one can convert it into an array. Return. I'll just say return array. JSON. Data. True. We'll change this out. Go back and hit refresh. So, um, if you think about it, this data here, it can be used for custom landing pages, uh, custom greetings, um, the longitude latitude information can be used in Google Maps. I mean, you have some options here. Well, okay. Have a good day, guys. Bye.